Hello everyone, this is Dinsdale 1978 coming to you once again from Team MP and I'm bringing you some Battlefield 3 jet action and this isn't the most spectacular jet flying ever but I had recently unlocked the air radar when I recorded this and I wanted to take a look at it because I thought most people never get to see this because well, jets are hard to fly in Battlefield 3 but they're not really hard to fly per se as they're hard to get kills with and as you'll see in this video I I have heat seekers on, uh, I've updated air radar obviously, I think I have also the IR flares, and uh, I unlocked the, the uh, air to ground missile, and that's been interesting but it hasn't been really useful to me. So I'm going to give a couple little tips here. Now, whenever you spawn into the aircraft, use, in conquest at least, use the afterburners to get some speed up. That'll help you get out quickly. and. After the first time through flying, you're going to realize, especially in a new map, or starting a map, um, where the spawn point is for the other air vehicles. Now here, something was targeting me, I'm taking evasive action, and that's going to have to be your friend. Learn to fly low, but don't fly low near the objectives. The objectives have a lot of things that get in your way, and you'll hit them because you're never going to be able to react in time, unless you're an ace pilot. And if you're an ace pilot, you probably don't need to listen to me. Uh, the other issue is, be, don't be afraid to use your machine guns on the uh, on the jet. Now, most people have a hard time killing anything with them to begin with, and it's hard to level up the progression of, of unlocks for the jet. Uh, you notice there's a lot of things on the screen right now, and I, I fly both jets in this match because I actually switched sides to join my other friends. But if you look in the center of the screen, there's a circle. In the middle of that, there's a little crosshair. That is where your guns will hit. You still have to lead a little bit if you're moving, hitting and moving a target, or if you're moving that fast as well. And there I go to try and dip down and strafe a target, and that's something you have to get used to at the beginning. Um, your best bet is to fly out really far, as far as you can go on the edge of the map. You're going to roll one way or the other, whatever you're comfortable with, like I did right there, and then just pull up on the stick. And that's going to be able to make you run. You know, I don't know what what layout you're going to use. I'm, I'm talking on the standard default layout. Um, that's how you're going to turn really fast. You, know, you can try and go up and turn around and, and jump up and down, whatever you want to do. Um, but the best thing you're going to try and just go out, bank a little bit, pull yourself up some, some altitude, um, roll a little bit there, and then just pull back and, and try and level out again. It takes some time to get used to it. Once you, once you get the feel of it, um, I rarely ever use the throttle buttons. I don't see that much of a difference. I'm sure there is. Uh, I've never really noticed it, so I, I sometimes will hit the left throttle to throttle down, but uh, whatever. Um, and so here I'm just playing around. I think I get an invite from my friends pretty soon. And I said, next time I die, I'll switch teams. And uh, there it is. And nobody's really in the air in this game. Uh, at this point, this match is... So I'm looking to see who's on the other side, see why there's nobody in the air. Um, the main things to worry about, if you hear an air a lock on you, and it seems constant, and you don't hear any of the, the, the faster beeping after the lock is heard, uh, it's probably somebody on the ground targeting you. Um, it may be a SoFlam. A lot of people uh, haven't really unlocked that yet or know what to do with it. But when it's active, it's annoying because it's almost a constant paint on your on your uh, jet. Now here's the other jet. I switch sides. You can see the, the uh, view is slightly different. And, you know, if you're used to one jet or the other, that'll happen. But uh, you're still looking with the same layout, basically, in the screen. The heads-up display is about the same. you got a couple crosshairs. Um, you know, all the other things on the screen is kind of superfluous because you're probably never going to notice it or use it. But continue to strafe ground targets and spot, spot, spot. People in the air, it's not just about flying around and looking cool like, you know, your, your Maverick and Top Gun. When you get especially in Conquest, a view of the of the uh, flags there. Spot like a madman. Now, you're going to wear out your spotting button. You're going to have to do some gymnastics with your fingers uh, because there's so many things you have to worry about, especially if you're switching between different types of uh, weapons and you're hitting your IR flares and you're throttling down and you're hitting your afterburners. Yeah, it gets a little complicated, but, man, is it fun when you get the hang of it. Now, here, I had somebody on me I couldn't shake, and I'm constantly doing loop-de-loops. I'm... I try a couple different moves. One move I like to try and do is I'll, I'll dip down, try and go one way, and with my air radar, I can see where they're going. And then I'll pull up really quick, climb with afterburners as fast as I can, do a barrel roll, and, and do another climb, or you know, pull up, basically, to get some altitude. But I'm actually going down then, and, and it kind of throws them off, and they don't know which way you're going to go, because most people bank uh, left or right. If you go straight up, 
there is a chance you're gonna reach the limit of the map. And when that happens, both planes kind of stall. And you'll notice that you're just kind of floating in midair. It's almost like your, your engine stalled. And I try to always, if I can, roll as best I can towards the ground so that I can get some speed up and make it down to the next target. Now, the left stick is best for kind of slight turns. And you're not going to be able to do, like, you know, you're not going to bank that quickly with it. It's good for adjusting the guns when you're aiming at a ground target. So it's basically strafing left and right in such a way. Um, and you'll feel it when you start using the planes a bit more. Um, and that's how it's going to work for you. And you really got to just work on spotting. And that'll get you enough points. If you spot a vehicle that somebody else takes out, you're going to get a couple more points. And a couple more points here. And a couple more points here. And if you happen to be the squad leader while you're in a jet and you, you hit the spot button while you're over topping a, a flag, you're going to get the uh, command order followed, I forget what it's called, or attack order or defend order, and that's more points for you. So that's the easy way, in reality, to get your jets leveled up. It's going to take a long time unless you can kill somebody. Here, I'm having a heck of a time. Um, and I should have barrel rolled the other way. There we go. Um, just trying to keep him, and I, I gave him a little leeway there because I wanted to lead him a bit and let him get out there so I can take him out. Now, luckily, air radar allows you to really kind of watch where you're going and watch where they're going. You can not have to worry about falling in the air because when you're first starting, let me tell you, I spent so many nights frustrated with this game about how I couldn't follow somebody in the air. I just didn't know where they were going. Once you get that air radar, it's so easy. Now, there you go. I get a lock. Some people don't fire when they get the first lock here. I didn't at that time. I wanted to see what he would do. If he was going to pop flares, I was going to waste the missiles on him. He didn't. So now, I'm just trying to get a good beat on him. Shoot. Two. Oh, then he pops flares. See how this goes? Yeah, you never know when you're flying a jet. But anyhow, so I'm going to keep flying. Um, the air-to-ground missile isn't as powerful as it seems uh, until you have somebody else painting targets. Because then you can lock on fairly quickly. You might even get two shots off if you're far enough away. However, if there's somebody else in the air tracking you down and shooting heat seekers at you, um, or you have anti-air you know, personnel shooting at you, you're going to have a problem. And it's going to be really hard for you to, to take out any ground targets with your jet um, using the missiles. And that's why I really think the, the helicopters are probably better suited for all that. Um, and there you go. See, I got, that's how you kind of follow up. I tend to try to do that a lot more now, too. And I believe I even stalled out here, out of bounds. Um, yep, there's the stalling action. Stalled out of bounds, you're really done then. Nothing you can do, you're just going to have to die. Um, take it for the team and come back again. But shoot those uh, heat seekers, see where they go, and try and follow them with the machine guns. That way you get to have a chance to kind of disable them. Disable them, take another run at them, shoot a couple heat seekers, and they may pop flares, but they're probably having a heck of a time just keeping themselves airborne at that point. So... Um, I'm really loving the jets in this game, although you can waste a lot of time up there. And uh, when you're doing that, people are obviously taking the flags, especially in Conquest. And you have to really pay attention to see what's going on on the ground. If your team is losing all the flags and you're up there flying around and shooting maybe once or twice every minute, uh, get out of the jet. It's not worth it. it it's gonna be a, You're going to be a detriment to your team. They're going to hate you for playing in the air. I, trust me, I know. Um, and quick tip, you can land a plane. If you get enough free space, you can land that thing right on those those roads there. Uh, I've done it. It's fun. It doesn't do anything for you, though. I mean, you, you don't really get back in the jet and fly it if you want at that point. But that's how I get out. I don't like to parachute because you leave yourself a sitting duck. At the same time, landing a jet in some of these smaller maps is really impossible. Um, your one main nemesis is really going to be a helicopter as well, because they can turn pretty quickly on a tight radius. But anyhow, 